has been hiding a huge update from us. We're checking out all the latest and crazy clips, and I've got a giveaway for all of you watching, so stick around to find out more. I was just trying to spread the joy to the community. Look, some of me owls all and then bam! Look who takes them down. It is the sweatiest all green sweat skin. Of course it is. What about dumb quests? Bro, you're walking towards the storm, but it's northeast. Why is he going northeast? One of the challenges is literally just to travel in the direction northeast. You're gonna see the whole lobby just running into the storm to get this challenge done. Is this possibly the worst battle pass we've ever had. Now, that seems a little harsh. If someone told me a few years ago we'd get Transformers in Fortnite, like, my mind would be blown. We've had so many collaborations now. I guess it isn't quite as exciting as the others. We haven't had anything like Transformer-themed really done throughout this season. I mean, there's still the Transformers location within the jungle that maybe they'll do something with before the season ends. And for anyone that doesn't have Meowsles, I guess the secret skin's cool. But for everyone else, the rest of the battle pass, it is kind of weak. But do you guys agree? Thinking about playing Fortnite, it's the beautiful sun. Actually playing Fortnite. Oh, it's uh, raining on my head. I gotta admit, the season did start off fun, but it feels like this summer update has been really, really weak. I just missed the days of Fortnite Chapter 2. It's summer. Everyone's at home playing games. Fortnite is popping. And this summer update, it just feels like we've been neglected a little bit. Fortnite Worlds Collide released five years ago. Holy five years. It doesn't feel that long ago. I cannot believe how long I've actually been playing Fortnite for. I've gotten married, had a kid, got two channels to 10 million subscribers. Some of you have probably gone through school. It's absolutely crazy. Who are we rebooting first, boys? Real life Fortnite reboot van. That's actually kind of sick. What skin comes with it? Is that the Ice Knight, maybe? I do actually have, you may be able to see just there, a real-life battle bus and chest. Maybe I should get the reboot van to go on my setup as well. Every time I hear the choral chorus in Fortnite, it is an absolute banger. Oh, he's actually rocking the Attack on Titan skin. Me and Claire started watching it, and it is really good. Whoa, I'm so good. Wait, they're just a moving llama. Oh, they're using the invisibility. Yo, it literally looks like the silver llamas in the game. With a rainbow tail. Why is the enemy not doing anything? You can literally see him. He's back on the llama. She's not even invisible anymore. Top 1v1 situation. She's... How has she won that? What the heck? Can we just say how cool a silver rainbow-tailed llama would look in game? Let's not forget the beginning of this season, key art was spotted with different glowing llamas in the background. Now, some of these images were updated to remove those llamas, but how cool would it be to have different llamas of different rarities that drop different type of weapons or loot depending on whatever color they are? Like a golden llama dropping a load of golden loot, or even a rainbow llama that drops a single piece of loot for every different rarity. Like, all of these ideas would be so cool. And there is still the rest of the season to potentially see these llamas come to the game. Come on, Fortnite. Please make it happen. It would be an awesome update. This is the closest we're getting to having pets back, isn't it? Yeah, a little frog climbing on the back of your back bling. Do you see pets in Fortnite are massively underutilized? Like, Roblox has a whole service dedicated to just breeding pets and looking after pets. But we haven't had any Fortnite in years. My girlfriend has a habit of just charging in without thinking. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, is she going up? Is she going to go down? Oh, 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 and she's gone. <laughs> the amount of chaos of his POI was insane. Stark Industries. Oh, my gosh. As if that was in Chapter 2 as well. I forgot how hard Chapter 2 banged. Yo, I was looking at everyone using that sunshine emote, and I'm like, I don't think I have it. And I don't have it, but now I will. This emote's an absolute banger. Gonna pick that up. Thank you. Chaos Explorer was like only one of two summer theme skins we got. Uh, how is that summer theme? Like, don't get me wrong, it's actually quite a cool skin, but come on, guys. They're not more summer skins, seriously. I want to say a big thank you, by the way, because last weekend, my icon skin was back in the item shop. I actually didn't know it was returning. Loads of you guys went ahead and popped in code Allie, so thank you, everyone, on screen there for supporting me. Like, look at all the other summer theme skins we've had in the past. They're so much better. Okay, enough raging. The other thing I don't have... 
is this. I will share the wealth with every one of you who have now been claimed. Little Whip's special serve is the best healing item in the game. Yeah, it is, but it's also ridiculously rare. No longer actually in the game because the summer event is over. I don't know if I've ever found this thing. Maybe once or twice, but giving you instantly max health and max shield technically does make it the best healing item ever in the game. Now, I promise you guys a giveaway and we're also going to be checking out my awesome gaming setup. Rockat's brand new Vulcan 2 and also Vulcan 2 Mini Air are now out. And I personally use the Vulcan 2 Mini as a super compact, super responsive gaming keyboard. I use it every single day and it syncs with all my other Rock App products. It's built to last with super responsive keys and the AMO lighting once partnered with all of my Rock App products looks incredible on my desk. If you want a setup like mine, I can help you out as I'm giving away the new Vulcan 2 keyboard. There'll be a link in the description for you to enter. And even if you're not a winner, you can use code Allier to get 10% off every everything at rockat.com. I'll link everything in the description and remind you guys at the end of the video so you don't forget. Anyone know what skin this is? Uh, looks like you got some bright bomber merged with some tryhard skin merged with an army skin. It's like three skins in one there. Why can't we have our pickaxes as a back bling yet? That's actually a really good point. Some pickaxes obviously can transfer from back bling to pickaxe. Like I'm thinking of Captain America's shield, but I guess if the pickaxe could also be a back bling, should they then cost more V-Bucks? Look, I think it's a cool idea. I just don't think it's ever going to happen. Holy cow. Are Leon's arm supposed to look like this? What the heck is... Triceps are massive, mate. That's got to be a glitch. Or maybe he's just really hench. When you see someone that has a skin you really want archived in their locker. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look behind you. Bam! This clip just makes me miss the shockwave hammer, to be honest with you. Wait, so the melting of the ice is actually happening. That's the second week I've seen people point out the fact that the ice is melting. I think showing the water here, though, there already is a lot of water around the jungle biome. But... Definitely need to keep an eye on that water melting. I mean, the story this season has been so dry. Like, literally, I, nothing has happened story-related. Sloan returned, decides to do pretty much nothing. You never know, though. Next week, when the new Fortnite update gets added, maybe Epic Games will add something story-related. Oh, look, you can properly look back at all of them. 14 days of summer was incredible. Fun fact, I actually didn't unlock a lot of these, and I don't know why. I'm actually still fuming. Like, I don't have the banana peely back bling. Cosmic Summer was pretty good good. I like the emo. I actually think last year's summer event with like the slushy back blings were really, really cool. This year's probably the worst. Although the PB back bling's kind of cool. But nothing beats 14 days of summer. It was just too good. Sometimes I hate this game. Oh. <laughs> What? That ball really said, I don't like you, and kicked you off the edge. How to deal with someone that has a drum shotgun. I feel like this is me. I'm the one with a drum shotgun, and this person's going to one pump them. Exactly what happened in my update video this week. This person's loadout's cracked. Oh, oh, this is sick. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is OP. Oh, this is too... That was too good. Fair play. That was sick. News just in. Free rewards for everyone, and it's actually really easy to get it. We're leading up to the FNCS 2023 Major 3. From July the 29th all the way to August the 20th. If you watch for 15 minutes during this period, you can unlock all of these different rewards, including a free back bling, a spray, different loading screens, and a motocon. Just head into Legends Landing in-game to watch them. So make sure you jump in to do it for a ton of easy free rewards. Okay, I actually rate this place so much. I don't know how this person's got such a god-tier mythic loadout, but ignoring that, goes invisible, sneaks up on the enemy. I always forget you can do this, by the way. Not going invisible, what he's about to do. Still lasting, still lasting. And from somehow below him, he runs up, knocks him off, I'm dating down. All right, this almost seems to be the other angle, potentially at least, of what happens if you go invisible and then knock someone off. Someone got knocked off, and another person got knocked off, and another person got knocked off. I think their whole team got invisibled on and then slid on. It's like they all just jumped to their death. What were they doing? Two versus one shock rave royale. Let's take a look. FN tire guy. The guy that's still finding creative ways to take people down, even though there aren't any tires. This man has the most amount of shockwaves I've ever seen. Oh, nice. Nice. Uses the best heal in the game. 
Nice. nice. Gosh, I almost got him, to be honest. Nice. You got a knack on the spot. Nice. Oh, that was so satisfying to watch. So I tried this glider. My immediate reaction was I can't see anything yet, yeah, too. I don't like gliders that take up that much of your screen. That's why my icon glider is, like, quite small. You can kind of see through it. And I've got a whole jellyfish on your screen, mate. Tomorrow's Epic Games' last day of their summer break. Yes, during the summer period, they also went on holiday, which means next Tuesday we'll actually get an update with downtime, which should set us up for the rest of the season where hopefully, maybe even live event files, definitely some new weapons. Fingers crossed it's going to be good. Make sure you subscribe. How did the Imagine Order loot to the seven? They have tanks, blimps, giant blimps, with machine guns, by the way. They've got drills that can go through the whole of the ground. They've got IO guards. They've got Jonesy with all of the hunters that he recruited. They've got massive satellite stations. They've got the ability to remove builds and have bosses and Marvel characters on their side. They could even control the zero point. They created a giant tsunami and had aliens come on the map. Yet we still managed to defeat the Imagined Order. But also the Seven didn't quite survive. So maybe both teams lost. I kind of wish they'd all come back because when they were battling, the story was so much better. Fortnite are now collaborating with a makeup line. If you thought Fortnite hadn't done it all, now we've seen it. The crazy thing is, it looks like almost all the makeup has been bought. So maybe it's actually quite good. <gasps> I tried to make the Scooby-Doo gang with the anime skins. Bro, you nailed it. They've even got Scooby as a back bling. What the heck? That's actually a seriously good job. I like like it. Okay, who of you knew that this tiny island, probably the most north part of the map, actually had a few summer bits on it? And toilet roll. <laughs> I didn't even know this part of the map was changed. Making the most out of this tiny update. Got a bush bomb in hand. I forget you could use it to stop wall damage, actually. You probably got to throw it down at the right time, though. You've got to be careful. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Nice. Oh, that was close, but well played. Did you know there's a chance that an NPC will spawn on the map giving you 1,000 bars that has six saves for you to open? If you want some good luck for this guy to appear in your next game, hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget about the awesome Rockat keyboard giveaway. Link in the description. And if you want to pick anything up on the Rockat website, use code ALIA for 10% off. Click on screen here to see the Fortnite only up world record as a guy speedruns the map perfectly. It's absolutely insane. I'll see you over there.